Today's video is sponsored by Microjig, maker of the gripper. Work safer, work smarter. And Rockler Woodworking and Hardware, create with confidence. Hi, I'm David Petrudo, and this week on Make Something, we're gonna make this Fox Masquerade mask out of veneers on a laser cutter. This mask will be made with several layers of veneer. We'll start off with a layer of walnut topped with a layer of maple, just to give it some thickness and strength. Then I'll add a layer of offset walnut to give the edges a border and top it off with some maple accent pieces. When I glue them together, I'll use this curved form so that when it dries, the mask will wrap around the face, giving it a bit more dimension. I drew my mask in Adobe Illustrator. I'll provide the free file on my website that you can open up in Illustrator or Inkscape and play around with it if you like. I'll separate all the elements and send them off to my full spectrum hobby laser. If you want to learn more about my laser and how to use it, check out the getting started videos I made for Rockler here. The video is in real time, and you can see the laser cuts through the thin veneers pretty quick. Once I have all the pieces cut, I can begin making my form. I just glued up some scrap 2x4s together to make this 2 inch thick block. I'll then draw a curve on it and cut it out at the bandsaw. I picked up some foam sheets from my local art supply store that I'll line the inside of the form with. The sponginess will ensure even pressure when it comes time to clamp it up. I'll use clear packing tape to attach it, which will also prevent the mask from sticking to it if there's any glue squeeze out. The glue up will happen in three stages to make sure all our pieces line up correctly. I'll begin by gluing the first two layers together. They are the exact same shape and the purpose of this is just to add a bit of thickness. Once the glue dries, we can take it apart and add the next layer and clamp it up again. The final stage are these accent pieces that I'm gluing in with CA glue. Since these pieces are much smaller, I'm using the quick set CA glue on the maple and spraying activator on the mask for an instant bond. A few coats of spray lacquer and gluing some ribbons on is all that's left. Well, this is a quick, fun project. If you don't have a laser cutter, check with your local library, art museum, or makerspace. Here in Toledo, Ohio, we don't have a makerspace, but our library does offer public access to their laser cutter and gives classes on how to use them. And you don't even need a laser engraver or cutter to make this. You could do this by hand with an X-Acto knife. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button down below to be notified of new videos. I'm also very active on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And I also have an email list that you can join to be notified of new content on YouTube and on my website. If you want to help me out, you can share this video on Facebook and Twitter. And if you really like me, you can support me on Patreon for just a couple dollars a month. As always, be safe, stay passionate, and make something.